Good morning, this is Colin from Target Sports Gun Shop in Glenville. Uh, if you tuned in last time, you saw our video on fidget spinners, which was sweet. We're going to talk about a couple of new products that we have in today. So, uh, really excited. We're going to feature four handguns, a rifle, and a shotgun, or any other weapon. So let's start with our handguns right now. Uh, the first one that I really like, and it's been kind of a, a long-awaited product here at the store, is the FN57. So the FN57 is made by FNH, and it shoots a rifle and now pistol cartridge, the 57. So it's a all total polymer gun, frame and slide, and it shoots that rifle cartridge, which is smaller than a 223 and very, very high velocity. Uh, these guns are designed to have a very high capacity magazine, and they come in a pack of three magazines, which is nice. So in New York, we're allowed only 10 rounds. So they do manufacture special 10 round magazines for this gun. Again, making them very hard to get in New York, unfortunately. They make them uh, in desert tan and black, uh, and they really don't weigh too much. They're equipped with a full rail for lasers or flashlights and adjustable sights. Uh, just a really, really cool, really fun gun um, they're fairly expensive, but again, they're really tough to get. So if you've never seen one or you want to stop by and handle one, remember if you've got a permit, you're more than welcome. If you don't have a permit, you can talk to us about getting one. So come in and check out the new FN57 in Desert Tan with three 10-round magazines here at the store. Another gun that we have that's brand new is a 1911 10mm from Ruger. So this is a full stainless steel gun in a kind of a matte finish with black rubberized grips. Oversized beaver tail, one side oversized safeties, skeletonized trigger and hammer, again with adjustable target type sights. Uh, the 10 millimeter is a pretty awesome, it's kind of a souped up uh, 40 cal round, it goes over 1200 feet per second. So if you're looking for a, a good defensive gun or a good hunting gun, the 10 millimeter Ruger is a great option. Another one that's one of our personal favorites is going to be the Smith & Wesson. Performance Center 1911 in their full size. So they do make two different Performance Center 1911s. They make a 4 inch with an alloy frame and they make a 5 inch all steel. So this is a phenomenal gun for anybody that's looking for a 1911 and a 45 ACP for competition. So it's a heavy robust gun. It has very textured kind of a G10 material grip, oversized magazine well, ships with two mags, very aggressive stippling on the back strap and on the front. It also comes with ambidextrous oversized safeties, again the big beaver tail, skeletonized trigger and hammer, and black target sights that are fully adjustable. You'll notice that there's cutouts on the slide, one for cool factor and two for reduced weight. It also gives me something more aggressive to fight when I'm racking the slide. Why less weight? Well, less weight means that it can travel faster, again keeping us on target and on to the next much more efficiently. So cool things that Smith & Wesson does, everything in this gun gets hand finished and hand honed. They use uh, titanium firing pins, again lighter and faster and stronger. External extractors, so it's more easy to clean and see what's going on or replace if needed. Uh, and then they hone out extra material on the ejection port to minimize stovepipe um, malfunctions and really increase the efficiency of extracting that cartridge. Very, very good trigger. Again, it's adjustable. Uh, the only thing that's adjustable on these guns are the travel of the trigger. It's at a set poundage. These are phenomenal. Really nice. So definitely come and check one of these out. Um, another new item by Springfield. Out of their XD line, this is their XDS, or I'm sorry, their XDE. So it's their first hammer gun. Very, very similar to a Sig Sauer. Uh, the Sig Sauer that I own is their 239 9mm. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's a single stack 9. This one comes with two magazines. It's equipped again with that hammer, a decocking lever, which is ambidextrous, so I can fire it from single action if I cock the hammer manually, or double action from the holster. Uh, very, very lightweight, very comfortable grip. They use that uh, grip zone technology. The front sight is a light pipe, so it funnels in all the light and shines it back to you. Really bright red, and it just pops when you put the gun out. It too has a tactical rail, which is different than my six hour, so I could put on that laser or flashlight for a defensive technology or a defensive advantage. So really, really sweet gun, nice trigger pull, lightweight. Uh, this one's got my attention for sure. Another gun that we're gonna feature today is the long-awaited uh, Mossberg. This is the Shockwave. 
So you'll notice that it's really different from your standard Mossberg 500 uh, or 590 in the regards that there's no pistol grip and the barrel is not 18 inches in length, which is the legal length. This has a 14 inch barrel and with this kind of round, kind of nub type grip, it's not considered a shotgun and it's not considered a handgun either. It's in a new category uh, of an, any other weapon. So if you want to check out one of these, these are really, really cool. Um, and we're really excited to have this guy here too. Another item that we're going to feature today is a AR-15. The cool thing with this AR-15 is that it's made by a company in Western New York called AX Tactical. AX Tactical is a shop like ours, but they have a manufacturing license. Therefore, they can build their own firearms. They're a class three, so they manufacture fully automatic weapons as well. And they do, as far as I know, have contracts with Western New York police departments, which is pretty sweet. So you'll notice that when checking the action of this gun, I did not remove the magazine. I'm not able to remove the magazine on this rifle because it is now New York State compliant. What does that mean? Normally, due to our new SAFE Act, a semi-automatic with a detachable magazine cannot have an adjustable stock, a pistol grip, a forward grip, a bayonet lug, or a threaded barrel or muzzle brake. Those features are now banned, which makes the, um, uh, the SKS or the Ruger Mini 14, again, much more popular options. If you want to have these items, the adjustable stock, the pistol grip, the forward grip, and the magazine, I'm sorry, the uh, threaded barrel and muzzle brake, we have to pin the magazine in place, making it a permanent fixture. Therefore, the mag can never come out. So we do have a technique or a tool that we use from AX Tactical uh, that does fix the magazine in place. So how do we load this rifle? I'm going to remove the rear pin. The rifle is going to fold in half, which allows me access to the top of the magazine, and I will load my 10 rounds. Again, in New York, we're not allowed to have any more than 10. So once I've loaded the 10 rounds into the magazine, I will fold the rifle back, put the rear pin through, rack the rifle, and it should just slam shut once it picks up a round. And now I'm ready to go back in business. So it allows us now in New York to have a featured rifle with all the cool parts on it that we should have um, in a safe, compliant manner. So these rifles, again, are all made in western New York. All the parts on this gun are all American made, which is really nice. Uh, they all come with a printed manual and a soft carry case, almost a tactical bag. So really, really good guns, all 100% American made. They do give a lifetime warranty, and you get that nice manual and that tactical bag as well. So we have, I think, four or five of these rifles in stock, usually all the time. Um, so if you want to check out one of these compliant AR-15s, that's American rifle, uh, come and check us out. Target Sports, shoot straight.